Hello, Anteater fans. Michael Sullivan here with head coach Trevor Croneman of the UC Irvine men's tennis team as we roll out another schedule release special. And getting into August now, coach, things will get going for you officially in September here at the courts. And I know for that fall schedule, it's all individual play. You got a lot of invites for your players. And just give us a sense, you know, before the team matches actually get going in January, that's when the official season gets going. What do you look for? out of the fall to well, get out of it. Yeah, you know, out of the fall, we spend a lot of time on our fitness. We spend a lot of yeah. time getting the guys back on the courts, playing matches, just looking for a lot of match play out of the guys. And, you know, and, and you're really forming the team and teams and doubles. And, right. you know, you're setting the attitude for the entire season and setting the tone and the pace. And so there's there's a lot there to take care of in the fall. Uh, yeah, they're individual tournaments, but they also count towards our team ranking. So right. we want the guys to do really, really well. And, and I think you'll see... You know, Sebastian Heim, you know, coming back Big West Player of the Year and uh, Big West Freshman of the Year, first right. time in history. Uh, we really look for him to do big things this year. And, yeah. uh, you know, he was he rolled an ankle or two twice against guys who were nationally ranked. And I think he's got a great opportunity to be a nationally ranked player this season. Yeah, so, you know, in, in the fall, I know with guys like Sebastian, you're looking to make even bigger steps, uh, you know, in the first couple months. And then you get a break at the end of the fall season, which is early November, and then January things will actually get going with team matches, and you'll get things going with San Diego, UC San Diego, and then you make a trip to Texas early on. Yeah, you know, right out of the gate, we're up against San Diego, ranked 23 in the country this yeah. past season, an NCAA participant in the tournament. Always a tough team to play. We'll be on the road against them, then we turn right around and we're back in the ITA kickoff with Baylor, who was a national semifinalist in the tournament last year. And then we'll play in that same event. We'll either play Old Dominion on Oregon, depending on how the team does. Right. So right out of the gate, you've got four or five quality, quality matches there in January that we're going to have to be ready to play. And then in February, you're going to stay in SoCal, a match here at home, Northern Arizona, and then the likes of UCLA, San Diego State, UNLV. Yeah, you know, I mean, those are another three or four tough teams. I mean, look, my philosophy has always been to play the toughest teams we can find. Right. The schedule seems to come back to us back to us around spring break and what I mean by that is a competition doesn't necessarily get easier it's just they become teams that are kind of of the same uh, same status as we are in the same ranking as we are but um, you know we, we like to play the toughest matches we can find and then calendar flips to March that is a very busy month for your teams those five home matches in a row yeah you know we did that we've done this every single year this is when all the teams from the East Coast are on their road trips out to Southern California we get to be at home we get to play a lot of matches I think this is really the part of the season where we really start to uh, you know fulfill our goals and start looking towards the Big West Conference tennis championships in Indian Wells we yeah. find out how fit we are uh, what kind of fitness work we need to do the next couple of weeks to get ready for you know our run at uh, the end of April which is really, uh, you know, is the crescendo of our entire season. That's what we're trying to accomplish is win a Big West Conference championship, and hopefully we'll be right in place again to do that. Right. You mentioned March, then going into April. Let's talk about the Big West. You guys tied with Davis for the regular season title a year ago. Santa Barbara comes in and wins the tournament. What are you expecting out of the conference this year? Yeah, I mean, you've got, you know, you've got five teams out of the six that I think have a legitimate shot of winning it just about every year, and that's that's not to discount Riverside. It just um, right. we're, you know, I think the five teams have pretty much established themselves, and any team on any given day can beat any team, and that was proven. Uh, we beat Santa Barbara beginning of the year. We were all over them in the conference final, and we let them escape. Uh, you know, so we're looking to get that turned around in our direction again uh, this season. So, I mean, that's like I said, those are our goals is to win the Big West Conference Championship. Santa Barbara's the lead of the pack. Again, they got a really good recruiting year. Right. But I think that I got to believe that our top four guys that we have are, are just the best in the conference. And so we're, we're as good as any team out there. And we just got to prove it on those days that uh, we get our opportunity. Yeah, let's talk about your guys. Obviously, the, the tournament championship is the goal. But you get six seniors this year, so a lot of experience. You mentioned Sebastian Heim, Big West freshman and player of the year, something that had never been done. So your expectations have to be high. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, look, we, we're right in there with, with a fighting chance. So, you know, you got Nico Mertens back, 20 match, 20 win season. You got Tyler Pham, 20 win season. You got Jonathan Hamill, 20 win season. I mean, these are seasoned guys. These top, these six seniors that are leaving us next year, five of them were brought in and they were touted as the 14th best recruiting team in the country so yeah. if all goes well I think we're you know we're a top 30 35 team and, and then it's from there we just need some chances to get in the NCAAs and, and do some damage so that's really what we're looking right. to accomplish this season 
Head coach Trevor Croneman going into your year number 10 now, coach, that decade mark. Of course, you played here, but it goes fast, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does go fast. I, I can't believe 15 years coaching college tennis, and, and I, they've been great, just like it was when I played here. Every day, it, it, I'm so lucky to come out here and be a part of this facility and a part of this university, and I'm looking for another 15 in front of me, I hope. So, uh, you know, we're going to make good things happen here, and it's a whole new season, ready to go. Sounds good. And it all get going with the individual tournaments in September. Coach, thanks a lot. Good luck this Thank season. Thank you so much. Thank See you. you next time, Anteater fans.